Hello and welcome to News in Brief on Vantage TV, where I bring you daily news updates on the stories that made major headlines from around the world. My name is Anita Macaulay. Do well to stay tuned. On the national news, President Buhari pleads with Nigerians over Naira notes. As widely observed, the prevalent issue of the new Naira notes redesigned by the Central Bank of Nigeria in a bid to limit cash hoarding and vote buying ahead of the general elections has prompted widespread unrest and hard times in the country. In response to this, President Buhari in a video on Sunday appealed for the patience of Nigerians as his administration takes appropriate actions to ease the hardship created by the controversial Naira swap policy. He closed by saying that the policy would bring improvement to the overall state of the country. Governor El Rufai directs MDAs to accept both old and new Naira notes. The Kaduna state government has directed ministries, departments and agencies within the state to accept payments in both old and new Naira notes contrary to the directive of President Buhari. The official statement issued on Sunday noted that the directive became necessary following the Supreme Court's order that allowed the use of old Naira notes as legal tender. This directly infers that the old and new Naira notes should continue in concurrent circulation in Kaduna. EFCC debunks raid on Tinubu's house. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC has denied reports circulating across social media that its operative raided the home of Ashiwaju Bola Tinibu, presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC, and recovered 400 billion naira. According to the online reports, Tinibu's house was raided and a sum of 400 billion naira in new naira notes were recovered in his underground house. However, in a statement on Sunday, the anti corruption agency, through its head of media and publicity, officially debunked the reports as fake news. On to international news, Facebook and Instagram users to start paying monthly subscription for verification badge. Users of Instagram and Facebook will start paying $11.99 as a monthly subscription fee for a blue tick verification as announced by parent company Meta. It was learned that Meta verified would cost $11.99 which is about $5,500 on the web or $14.99, which is around 7,000 Naira for iPhone users. This was announced by Meta Chief Executive Mark Zuckerberg, who justified that the move will improve security and authenticity on the social media apps. Military honors as late Christian Atsu's body arrives Ghana. The body of the late Ghanaian soccer star, who was killed in Turkey's devastating earthquake, arrived in a late flight on Sunday from Turkey. Carried away by members of Ghana's armed forces, the remains of the former Newcastle footballer who last played for Turkey's hate sport club was received in Accra by Ghana's vice president, his family and friends. After weeks of searching, Atsu, who was once claimed to be rescued and recovering, was found dead on Saturday under the rubble of his home in southern Turkey. Tributes have since poured in following the official news of his passing. That's it on this edition of News in Brief on Vantage TV. For more updates, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.